What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. All images used in this video are protected under international copyright laws. This genius has published what he called a paper, see links in the video's description, claiming that curing autism spectrum disorder is possible by subjecting little kids to an adult dosage of cerebrolism, which is extracted from pigs' brains and chiefly used to treat stroke victims. In addition, the kids are given phenothiazine, which is an antipsychotic drug, and prochlorperazine, which is used to control schizophrenia. When I queried the genus and asked about his unprecedented medical achievement of curing a genetic disorder with drugs, he sent me to buy his book for $62 so that I, too, can learn about the achievement. The book, by the way, has yet to sell a copy, so be sure to rush out and buy a copy. They will make excellent bar mitzvah presents. The writer even purchased for himself an award from the advertising site Book Authority, just to let everyone know how great he is. Perhaps he was impatient to wait for someone else to laud and applaud him. He was even kind enough to let me know that his literal miracle has been nominated for a Nobel Prize. Golly, I am impressed. That reminds me, after I upload this video, I will nominate myself for a Nobel Prize in Literature. Before we move on to what he calls a success, let us see how well he did compared to Autism Spectrum Disorder interventions here in the United States of America. Here is a real study with proper controls in place that removed biases from the study from Albert Einstein College of Medicine. See the link for the news release in this video's description. In the real study, there were 569 people who were assessed and met the diagnostic threshold for autism spectrum disorder. After intervention using evidence-based practices, 38 of the autistic people were reassessed to be under the diagnostic threshold. Three of them were reassessed to no longer meet the diagnostic criteria at all. Here is the results of the miracle using the drugs mentioned. 46 people in the autism spectrum who were given anti-stroke and anti-psychotic drugs, two of whom started to speak and interact with playmates. According to the so-called paper, None were actually cured in the so-called study, though the writer did mention in passing that he also completely cured eight out of eight autistic people, but that merited only two sentences in his so-called paper. Nowhere in the so-called paper is there mentioned that controls were in place to prevent biases. Nor is there enough information for other people to duplicate the miracle. Note that standard intervention techniques without drugs did better than the miracle for which the writer has claimed warrants him to receive a Nobel Prize. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.